Well, all eyes are on Chicago ahead of next week's Democratic National Convention. The Democratic nominee, Vice President Kamala Harris, will address America to close out the convention. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein has more on what Californians should watch for. Americans in general are so sick of politics as usual. They're looking for a candidate, really, who just has common sense. That will be the pitch from Vice President Kamala Harris and the slew of speakers set to make speeches at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Sources are leaking to press that the past three Democratic presidents, Biden, Obama, and Clinton, will speak along with 2016 Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. The party looking for unity in the Harris-Waltz campaign may be looking for moderates, advertising as such in recent campaign ads about the southern border and Harris co-opting former President Donald Trump's no-tax-on-tips rhetoric. Former Democratic Senate candidate Christina Pascucci says it's a winning strategy. I've been talking a lot about economy, immigration, uh, child care, things that are really important to the everyday American. And so I think that Kamala Harris is going to try to appeal to that and go more to the middle, which is what we've seen, and it seems to be working. It's a party, convention, and ticket that is trying to avoid mass protests and riots in the wake of Israel's war with Hamas. The national spotlight being on a well-protested event may not be good for the Democrats. If it is very well protested, that does create a differentiation between what we saw at the RNC and the DNC. That's not the best optics, and I can see the campaign ad now of what Republicans could cut. Pro-Palestinian protesters on the progressive left have already made a local impact with a threat to Bakersfield City Council members. We'll see you at your house. We'll murder you. Ms. Patel, that was a threat. And the vandalization of Congressman David Valadeo's office last November. I guess I'm most troubled with the idea that somehow these people think it's okay to defend terrorism. GOP strategist Brittany Martinez suggests that Democrats should do their best to shun the protest and focus back on the issues that impact voters on a daily basis. What these disenfranchised voters care about is the policy issues, and she's really going to need to make a play. In Bakersfield, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.